All right, guys, Adrian here. Um, this brute shoot today is going to be specifically a shout out to all the coaches out there. Um, we're talking about continued education. Now, uh, something that is often a topic that I'm asked uh, because I work on level one staff and I teach the seminars um, is like, what's the value in getting my level two or what's the value in getting my level three, Adrian? Or why should I do some of the specialty courses? And you know, my innate reaction is, or my innate question, I guess, is really why wouldn't you? Um, because don't you want to be the best version of a coach that you can provide to your athletes? Um, don't you want to be uh, head and shoulders above the competitive gyms in your area? Uh, you know, don't you want to just be finding a new level of capacity to the information that you can provide to your gym? Uh, th those are the, the initial questions that I kind of counter uh, to the coaches that are asking these questions or the individuals that are asking these questions. But you know, to provide you guys with some direct actionable reasons to kind of go through with this. Um, the, the first one is that even though you may not see the direct value, right? And the reason I say that is because a lot of people come to me and they're like, hey, uh, you know, a level two doesn't really allow me to open a newer gym or a nicer gym or it doesn't give me automatically 20 more athletes. One, I would say that you're, you're pretty close-minded to think that the things that you will learn and the lessons and the values that you will take away from the level two experience uh, won't help you do those things is, is foolish. Um, but honestly, to be very blunt with you is that it could open those opportunities. Now that's up to you as an individual, right? If you can take the level two experience where the, in the CrossFit community, um, that's going to allow you with a greater awareness of the things that you need to work on as a coach, um, the verbiage that you use, the cues that you use, uh, the presence and attitude that you instill with a particular group of people. Do you talk too much? Do you not move enough? Do you move too much and not explain enough, right? It's about finding those balances that ideally your athletes will notice a direct change in you as you go back to your gym and your community and instill some of these things. Um, and so for you to assume that you won't be able to build a stronger community or a bigger community or that it doesn't provide a direct uh, correlation with the investment, uh, that's, that's simply an error on your part. Um, so broaden your mind uh, and understand that it's going to completely change who you are as a coach, ideally, if you go in with an open mind, and uh, you will certainly see the benefits. Um, now, clearly, uh, the level three is now just a test only. And so you're going to study for that, you're going to prep for it, you're going to show up and take this test that could last several hours. Um, but it's something that through the preparation, you are going to make yourself so much more well-rounded because certainly you're going to need to prepare in ways to study the things that you might not be as certain of or maybe the movements that you don't teach um, as much as you potentially should or maybe the movements that you're particularly weaker at as an athlete yourself. Um, and it's going to leave you much more well-rounded. Now, not only are you going to gain the experience of getting the level two and the level three, but you're also just going to be leading by example to the coaches that also work with you. Um, one of the big things that we practice here at Wasatch CrossFit is, you know, I try to lead from the front. And what that means is for me, each year I go through some particular continued education experience. So that might be getting my uh, power or taking the, uh, the powerlifting uh, seminar course. It might be getting the Olympic weightlifting specialty seminar course. Um, I'm, I'm already through uh, level one through three in regards to uh, the, the certificate courses that we offer um, and then having the level three certificate itself. Um, and what I try to make that clear to my coaches is that we're asking athletes that let's say they sign up for a year, right? We're asking them to invest $1,500 of their money that they work hard for into their fitness. But as a coach, I receive pay or trade either for the service that I offer and I'm not willing to make a similar investment in continuing my education to actually provide them with the knowledge to go through with their fitness. I think it is very um, hypocritical on our part as coaches. So I think that that's one of the biggest values that you can see is that you're leading from the front to you, not only your community, but also your peers as coaches in your gym. Um, there are also, guys, great ways to continue to expand your education even outside of the CrossFit community. These investments that you're going to make are going to change the way that you teach and that you coach. So it could even be you just understanding maybe the human anatomy better. Maybe you're going to take a um, you know, physical therapist style or type of strategy in regards to educating yourself. Maybe you're just going to write off some classes at a local college and you're literally going to... Um, just sit in on some classes without even getting credits, right? Or getting recognition for being there present. You're just gonna get the experience and you're gonna get the knowledge. Um, I think one of the, the biggest 
you know, downsides to all of the great things that the level one offers is that it can provide some complacency. Um, and I think that that's because it opens so many doors to a lot of us that we stop seeing the big vision of continuing to want to be better to pursue these new levels that will obviously open up new opportunities to clearly us as a coach, but also our athletes. The bottom line is this, if you guys want to be a competitive gym owner, if you want to be a competitive coach, if you want to be one of the best coaches in the world, you are going to pursue relentlessly continued education. And that could look like the level two uh, that CrossFit offers, the level three. It could be that you want to have mastery in every one of the specialty courses, that you want to study your biggest weakness, and that you want to read uh, three books a year. But the bottom line is no matter how little the investment may be or how steep the investment may be, it's always going to be worth it for you as a coach to invest in your education because that's what's going to lead the rest of your community.